Hi, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is advanced circuit training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We're going to do eight exercises, uh, 40 seconds each, and we do three rounds of them. So, first exercise for 40 seconds. Two options. One, fast pace, high heart rate. It's a jump tap squat. That's where you start wide, tap the feet nice and light. Okay, so that'll be more of an advanced version. If you want, you can just stick to a basic regular squat. So they'll give you those two choices, whether you want to go fast or slow, I'll leave that up to you. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Try to keep your knees back so they don't go over your toes. So you got to lean your upper body forward. Nice and light on the heels. So we start with the jump tap and switch to a regular squat. If you get too tired, just keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, let's grab one single weight. We're gonna do bent over row. So we've done this in class before. So, you take a nice forward lean, we're going to go right hand, left foot out in front, use your left arm to brace yourself, and then we're just going to pull up and down with the right arm. Nice and simple. Drag your elbow close to your side. So, put the weight in your right hand, left foot, left arm, go out in front, and let's go in three, two, one, here we go, right hand only. Nice flat back, try not to be rounded off, punched in the back. You want four lean, but you want to keep a nice flat arch back. Fifteen seconds. So three more, two more, last one. Good. Grab our matching weight. We're going to make our way down to the ground. Two choices on this one. This is a chest press. One, this will be the modified version with the knees down, just pressing up and down. The advanced version is going to be... <coughs> A great chest press, so you lift the hips up, and now we're going to press up and down like so. So, you can do this for an advanced version, hips down for a modified version. Grab your weight, line your back, bent knees, let's start straightening the air with the weight, decide if you want to lift the hip, and here we go. Halfway. Ten seconds. Last one. Bring the weights into your body nice and close. Place them down to the side. We have a bicycle crunch. Bicycle crunch. You take your hands to the side. Elbows out wide, you're going to go opposite elbow, opposite knee. Okay, opposite elbow, opposite knee, long stride. So in five, four, three, two, one, go ahead. Good twisting of the torso, keep the stride long, reach up on the knee, up on the knee, up on the knee. Up 
not have to worry about battles so much. Change speed. Keep going. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can place your weights down, grab a drink. Take a 30, 45 second break. Back to the front, let's go round two. Jump tap squat or some squats. Jump tap squat is this, okay? Nice and light on the feet, or you can just do a squat, okay? Jump tap squat's not as crazy as it looks. It's not as impactful as it looks. You want to come up nice and easy on the feet, nice and light, you can try it, okay? Let's try in five, four, three, two, one, here we go, just keep it real light. You're not looking to jump high, you're just looking to kind of bring the feet in and out, real low to the ground. You start wide, tap in the middle. Oftentimes you get caught going in reverse. You're tapping in the middle. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Let's grab one weight. We're going to go left hand. Left hand with the weight. We're going to go right leg out in front this time. Right arm out in front on the right leg. Or you can hold on to anything around you in the row. We're going three, two, one. We're just pulling up and down. Okay, we did this with the right arm in the first row. It's going to be left arm this round. Dragging the elbow close to your side, keeping the pace slow up and down. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Let's grab both of our weights and we're going to make our way to the ground. Next up is a bridging chest press. Okay, so you can lift the hips up, press up and down, or keep the hips down and press up and down. All right, so I'll let you choose if you want hips up, hips down. Let's start with the weight straight up in the air, line your back, bent knees, and here we go, 40 seconds. If you are doing the hip up. Five, four, three, two, one. Twist your weights in your body, place those off to the side. Next 
Next up, bicycle crunch. I like to make a little circle with my fingers. They go around my ears. That way I know I'm not falling on the back of my neck. So, hands to the side, fingertips to the side of the head, elbows out wide. You're going to go opposite elbow, opposite knee. Long stride. All right, so let's go with five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Create a good rhythm. Try to kick out the leg nice and long. Half, halfway, try to hold a rhythm, even if it slows down a little bit, just try to keep a rhythm. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, take a break. Stay right there on your back. You can look up if you need to see what a single leg bridge is. Single leg bridge. This time we're going to take the left foot. We're going to put the left heel on the ground, point the left toe up in the air. Right leg goes over the left leg. And then we're going to bridge up and down. Off that one heel. And just go on repeat. So right leg over left. And three, two, one. Go ahead. Try to raise your hips as high as you can. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a break. Come on back up to a stand. We have a left arm tricep kickback. So. Right leg goes forward, right arm, use that to go in your right leg, elbow pulls up, and then we're going to extend the weight back really slowly. You're not looking at having any momentum, you're not swinging the weight, you're going to do a slow pull. The more you lean forward with the body, the better. It's going to be easier on your shoulders, so you want to be nice forward lean. Let's go in three, two, one, go ahead, good forward lean, elbow stays up nice and still, and just extend that weight backward. Here we go. The more up tall you are, it's going to be really uncomfortable on your shoulder. Uh, so this will get easier on the shoulder and then more in the triceps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Pause. All right, we got two more to go, then we'll take a break. Next up is a high heart rate exercise. Mountain climbers, hands can go on the ground. Go quickly, slowly, or you have a round of squats, okay? That would be a modified version. So you can go fast, slow, or squats. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Always seems like a long forty seconds. All right, let's grab our uh, set of weights. This is a balancing bicep curl. 
So I'm just going to step back just so you're going to put one foot in front of the other. Okay, heel to toe. You won't see me because I'm going to get a closer for it, but you're going to do that. Doesn't matter which one. Turn the hands out. And here we go. One comes up. And we're going to alternate up. Go ahead. Change feet. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's take our second round break. Grab a drink. Okay, make our way back to the front. We'll do our third round. First exercise, wide stance. If you're going to do a jump tap squat, so we're going to start with a out wide, tap the feet. Okay, or you can do a squat. So you have squat or jump tap squat. Go in five, four, three, two, one. Start wide if you're doing jump tap squat. Be easier to start your rhythm. Two more. Good. All right, some of these are going to be uh, exercises we're going to do half and half, half one arm, half one, uh, half leg, whatever. So it uh, doesn't matter which arm you want to start with. We're going to do half and half. Just make sure your opposite foot's up in front. It's going to be our bent over row, going up and down. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Good forward knee. Nice flat back. One more. Get it up tall. Change hands. And here we go. Right away. more. Good. All right, let's grab our weights. Let's make our way down. We have chest press. You can do bridge up press. You can do hips down press. All right, start with your weight straight up in the air. And here we go. Lift your hips if you're going to do hips up or keep them down.
three. Let's go two more of them. Last one. Weights come in. Place down on the side. Next up, we have core. We have bicycle crunch. Hand coming to the side of the head. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Okay, try to make a, make a fingertips to the side of your head. Don't hang on the back of your neck. It may make your neck feel like it's up so tired, but in the long run, it's not going to be good for it. So let's go three, two, one. Go ahead. Elbow knee, elbow knee. Doesn't mean you have to reach the knee, but I want you to reach in the direction of that knee. We have 15 seconds to go. Even if you slow down, just try to hold the rhythm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Single leg bridge. You're going to take one leg, cross it over the other one. The foot that's on the ground, you're going to be on the heel so the toe points up. And then you're going to lift the hips up and down on repeat. Doesn't matter which leg you want to start with. I'll let you know when it's halfway and we'll switch. Let's go in three, two, one. Go ahead. Pause, switch legs. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come on down. And let's come back up to a stand. We have triceps kick back. So it doesn't matter which hand you want to start with. You just want the weight in one hand. Other foot goes out in front. Elbow pulls up. And then we extend back with the weight. Nice four of these. Remember, you don't want to be up tall in your posture. You want to lean forward on this one. Keep a flat back, but lean forward. All right, in three, two, one, go ahead. Elbow up, extend back. Here we go, try to straighten the arm out if you can. You don't want to snap the elbow, but you want to pull back to see if you can straighten it out. Pause, stand up, change hands, change feet. And go ahead, elbow up, extend back. Try to have the elbow move as little as possible. Three, two, one. Okay, you can place the weight down. Mountain climbers, hands on the ground, alternating legs, fast, slow, or around a squat if you don't feel comfortable doing either of those. I'll give you a few seconds. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down easy. I will come back to a stand. Go 
So last one. Alternating bicep curls with a tandem stance. You're gonna put one. You're gonna put one foot in front of the other. Heel to toe. Okay, heel to toe. You literally you should put one heel to the other toe or step off to the side a little bit. Return the hands up. And here we go. One goes up. And we're gonna create that rhythm. Try to let the weight all the way down too. A lot of times people are going to stop short and it looks like this. No. Let the weight all the way down. Get a full range of motion. Change feet. Continue. Ten. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Good job, good class, everybody. Thank you for coming.